hello friends in this video let's talk about how to work out certain patterns in python see we, we can display different patterns by using python programming so we will be going slowly into complex examples so let me show you in this example how to display a pattern like this if you observe very closely first i will be displaying p python i'm i'm taking a string as a python here first line i'm displaying python p second line py means i'm getting second letter third line pyt third letter extra fourth line i'll be getting pyth four letters one letter extra next line fifth line pytho one more line last line i'll be getting full spelling <laughs> in this example practically i am going to show you how to display this not only this i am going to make it generalize this user can provide a string we will display that particular string in this format so let me show you practically for python once python is over in this format then i'll make it generalize this we'll see one by one slowly so let me open a python window so here i am using directly python ide only to show you the example so as i am telling you can use other ides as well like pycharm you can use um, spider you can use jupiter it's up to us but here i will be using a python because i can write a programming even in the python window as well without having those uh, plugins or those ides it's up to you so i am feeling comfortable by doing this that's the reason i'm i'm okay now so it's up to you now now what i did is i just went to file and i open a new file here so here i will be writing so in the same way we do it whatever the code i am writing here the same code works in spider or uh, in anaconda or uh, you can use a uh, jupiter or you can use a uh, pychar so let's let's start now so as i told you i will be using python string for the first time later i give a facility to enter for the user now let's declare a variable like a string equal to let's put it as a python python so i'm hard coding this so slowly i'll make it generalize this so one by one step by step okay so first i identified a, a string so what string i need to use for my program identified string that is name of the string is python you can see that str equal to python okay so now let's take a length of it so i'm going to take l e l l, l is nothing but a length equal to length of str so you might get a question so why are you defining these uh, uh, here and are you can why don't you directly use uh, length of python you can do that so you can do that even okay so once it is done now you can easily identify that the length of the uh, python is 6 p y t h o n 6 okay so once 6 is identified then what i am trying to do is let me go to this um, see here if you really see this okay so let's take this uh, see here the original string is python okay first i need to display p so then py so let's go one by one so uh, next time i need to display t extra here pyt okay so now first i need to identify the p then i'll i'll go for slow second line this is the first line this is the second line this is the third line and so on you have okay so here i have only six characters six letters i'll be getting only six lines six rows i'll be getting here okay even if you have only two lines let us assume it two lines two sorry two characters then you will get only two lines okay so we'll we'll talk about that slowly so let's come here so here i will be using a for loop so 
in the previous video i talked about complete for loop how to use a for loop how to declare it so in this video i'm not going to talk in depth so let's let's declare for loop now for i'm going to use i see if you really understand i and j are very famous variables for the practice when you're dealing with for loop or while loop so i'm using i because this is external for loop i might need to use two for loops for i in range range see here so always range starts with zero okay even again i i need to print this string so even this print to print this uh, string that index also start with zero so that is the reason why by default i am going to take it as a zero here so why i am taking zero is index of the string is starting with zero even for loop also starts with zero but i can make it for for loop i can manage with uh, one here but for the string index i cannot that's the reason why i'm starting with zero comma so l so because i need to go till l so when i specify l here l ideally knows that six but for loop doesn't go till six it it goes till five and it it stops because whatever the number you specify here it goes that number minus one position only range minus one means l i am ke ke keeping as l so colon enter so here now let's assume it the first one so it is in the zero position now so now i need to display p i cannot directly display here i need to use because if you directly display p here for first time you will get only p then but you need p and y in the next line begin p you need to repeat it so that is the reason why you need a you need a nested for loop so let's come back here let's go for the nested for loop for j in range of zero again because i need i talked about index purpose comma i here i cannot put it as i so because i told you the for loop one so i need to keep compulsory plus one so because i is starting initially zero when i put zero comma zero range of zero comma zero means for loop fails and it doesn't execute at all that's the reason why i'm making as i plus one colon now print print of str square bracket of j okay close it so now you'll get first one if you really see this when it when you want for the first time this for loop starts it with a zero so then this loop comes here starts here so i is j zero comma one it means that it satisfies it display print str of zero str of zero is nothing but p you will get this first p you will get this first p okay next time so this loop uh, fails because of it increases one so one doesn't uh, fit in the range then it comes here so i value becomes uh, one then it comes again j j is to start with zero comma two here so j zero of so here if i directly display so let, let's display let's execute this as it is and i'll show you what what extra what are the things we are missing we'll slowly address it so let's save this file before running it i need to save it so let's save this uh, in the make it as a python pattern okay so now once you are run you can use f5 to run this see here if you see this so it is coming as p py pyt it is repeating see what needs to be addressed we'll talk about it but by default if you leave this if you observe the output first displaying p then pyp sorry py pyp pyt pyth slowly you can see this so you are able to see what is the output you are expecting but not in a expected format so now let's slowly come here here so this every time every letter is going to the new line i don't want to do that so what i'll do is here i am going to make it as end equal to double quotes why i am doing is so every time i cannot go with a second line new line so once it is display inner for loop over okay so then only i want to go to the new line so to address that i need to totally to get that expected output i need to do two, two steps the first one is first i should display everything in a single line this line this this line like this i need to display then i'll go for 
only P should be in the first line, PY should be in the second line, PYT in third line I need to do. So what are the steps I need to do is the first to address that first I made it as ND equal to MT. So let's now save it and click on F5. So once you click on F5, now you got everything in a single line now. So here earlier everything in different lines. Now you have everything in a single line. Now the second thing what I have to do is I need to apply an empty print for the outer fur. Now let's do it print. Print this indicates a new line. Print indicates a new line. So let's save this and run this. Now you can see this P, PY, PYT, PYTH, PYTHO, PYTHON. Now if you see here, this is how we are getting it. Now if you want some bit, some bit styles and all, let's add some space here. If you really see the output here, there is no space here. If you want to add some space here, let's add them say space here. In the end, you can add some space. Okay, let's run this again F5. Now you have see P, PY, PYTHT, PYTH, PYTHO, PYTHON. So this is how we display the pattern in this format. So that's how we use it. So there is a different way. So you here you used two for loops, nested for loop you have in this example. So there is a different way you can achieve this output. So without writing this, I'll talk about in the next video. But now for time being here, I hard coded this. So I don't want to do that. I don't I want to give a chance to user to enter the string what string he is exp he want to do that format. Now here I'm going to make it as input of please enter. enter your input okay now let's save it let's run this so here i'm asking user to provide the input now i'm making as india so you see this when i enter india so i'm getting i i n i n d i n d i i n d i a okay so this is how now let me add some space here okay so let's save it and run it now now here enter your input so i am entering is united kingdom it's big you can see this so united u n u n i u n i t u n i t e d u n i t e d now you see observe it so what happened here so same united you got two times why because there is a empty space here so that is a, i want to show you this that's the reason why i entered united kingdom like this so this is how you are going to display the pattern like this you understand the difference now why you got two times united here is this is only united here but you have one space extra here so that's the reason why you you are getting united two times but ideally no two times but because you cannot see the white space that's the reason why you are getting two times so that's how we display the patterns in a python so that's all about it if you have any questions on python please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you